Welcome to Red Tech Channel, a new way to learn. So today in MRI, I am going to discuss about the steady state. Please watch the previous video before watching this. The link is given in the description. So let's begin. Steady state. It is a state where LM and TM both are present at the same time. LM means longitudinal magnetization and TM means transfer magnetization. But when the both are present these are present when the data is equation so during data equation both are present that state we called the steady state or you can say that it seems that or you can say it look like that both long term magnetization and transfer magnetization are present at a single state or you can you can say same time then question may arise in your mind that how is steady state achieved so basically it is achieved by keeping tr shorter than t1 and t2 times of tissue tr basically time of repetition and t1 and t2 times about the in how much time or you can say in how much time it gives uh, relaxation and gives signals to the uh, us so tr basically shorter than t2 and there is no time to decay so when uh, the TR is shorter than T2, so transfer magnetization has not completely decay yet. Uh, before that, we apply next RF pulse excitation. So there is some residual transfer magnetization left over, and the another factor is about the short uh, flip angle, which is usually 30 to 45 degree. Uh, when we the transfer when the net magnetization vector is flipped by less than 90 degree there should or you can say there is always some residual uh, longitudinal magnetization left so basically this is the reason why it is achieved so high magnitude of lm and tm are maintained basically you may think about that also so the residual transfer magnetization is flipped by gradient through 180 degree basically the 180 degree works that uh, the transfer magnetization is going from positive side of y axis to negative side of y axis and after that when next rf excitation is done this tra residual transfer magnet transfer magnetization is present on negative side of axis which is moved towards z axis and the transfer magnetization which is add up into the magnitude of residual longitudinal magnetization and which is now increases so at the same time we have the transfer magnetization also residual transfer magnetization also and the some part of residual uh, longitudinal magnetization also in this we add up this so the uh, longitudinal magnetization is add up so uh, again we apply the same angle or you can say short angle uh, tm is formed along the positive side of axis the si the same cycle is repeated again and again each uh, rf excitation and both value of lm and tm are maintained basically we have seen that when the residual transformer magnetization is exist we go through the 180 degree uh, gradient coil which uh, divert the transfer magnetization uh, towards a positive to negative side and then we apply another rf excitation which flip the negative side of axis to z axis so i hope you clear out all the points about the steady state so this is all about steady state so do subscribe if you like and thanks for watching